we really want to make sure that we support the human animal bond and um, you know that's that's a lot of what we do almost all of what we do is supporting the, the human animal bond right in some way or another and so we want to make sure that all all members of uh, all residents in Toronto can can access services that will will help with that yeah so it's yeah. like the the whole the overarching idea is to keep the families together basically trucks through the neighborhoods on a sort of, on a scheduled basis well yeah i mean and we actually park it somewhere that's convenient for people and then they can come to the chip truck and get a microchip and a rabies vaccine now we've added to the to the chip truck. fantastic yes. if they don't have a license they can also get a license there it's 35 dollars for dogs and 25 dollars for cats Okay. for all of those things okay yes you're not allowed to get away with not having a rabies vaccine and i should add that if you already have a current license then you can get the microchip and the rabies vaccine for ten dollars wow so, yes so at this point with all the measures that toronto animal services has put in place for emergent situations and preventative if i could just talk a little bit more about do, that yes do. okay so the snip truck we are targeting the neighborhood improvement areas in toronto Transportation to a vet clinic or even one of our stationary clinics can really be a barrier for some demographics. Mm -hmm. And so if you make a household income of $50,000 or less, you can get a waived or reduced fee um, when you uh, want to access service from the SNP truck. Those behaviors that will emerge because the animal isn't spayed or neutered often sort of break that bond down. And so we want to make sure that that's maintained and that they can keep their pet and that they're supported. Mm -hmm. So the program for which Mary spoke about and the reduced way fees is also applicable to licenses. Yes. So with funding, uh, money has been an issue for people as to why they've not licensed their pets. Again, uh, if they, they qualify for that program, they can get their license for free. So that in turn benefits us because we're getting animals in that are identified. Or in fact, we don't even get the animal in because it's wearing a license and we can take it home. Mm -hmm. That's significant. So we want to encourage that. If that has been a barrier for people, mm -hmm. you know, hopefully we've, you know, knocked down that barrier yeah. and you will come to us and, and get your pets licensed. Well, that's absolutely fantastic because, you know, a lot of people, um, it starts out with a family, it's the first pet. Mm -hmm. And so they feel overwhelmed. They don't have any idea of what the resources are out there. You've got relatively young parents, right, who aren't making the big dollars in the marketplace mm -hmm. yet. And uh, so those resources are critical, not just for vulnerable groups, but for um, just, you know, your average pet That's owner. actually true. The, all this stuff that we're talking about has sort of been a big shift in our philosophy mm -hmm. um, in the last number of years, that I think we, we can actually now start to service those communities that maybe uh, weren't being, uh, weren't getting proper service in the past. Mm -hmm. Oh, honestly, take it from me, like from, I, I have my eyes on the community constantly, and the work that you have done is just really, yeah. Really, we're amazing. really happy about yeah. it. We're excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah you'd have to be. It's, yeah, we are. Uh, it's brilliant. It the snip truck is a dream. It really is. And SNYP stands for Spay Neuter Your Pet, so that's how you can sort of remember what it's called. It's a great little name. Yes, <laughs> great little name.